Hello, welcome to the Urban Element Studio. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on going to the Urban Elements website, learning how to download a file and how to find that file on your computer, how to unzip the file, and then how to utilize that file. Uh, we're going to go inside and we'll be working on my personal home computer. Uh, so you might see some of my other uh, things that I've downloaded, angel pictures and quotes and stuff in there as well. Uh, so this will be a fairly short video, uh, but it's just to teach you how to download. Um, if you purchase something, how you could also find it in my downloadable products on the website uh, when you create an account. So let's get started. We're at the Urban Elements website. In order to test the process, we're going to work with a free design. So we're going to type free in the Urban Elements search engine. That's going to bring up all the free patterns, free de uh, designs, but also any design that has free in the name, uh, in the case of Fancy Free, which is $15. So we're going to go to Truffles first. I'm going to click to open Truffles. We can see that this is available as a paper uh, panto if you download it for self-print. It's available as a digital download for a computerized system. It's also available for embroidery download. This is a quilting design for an embroidery machine, not an embroidery design. So if we click digital design, you're going to see it download up here on my computer. And you'll see that I have multiple copies of this because I've had to make multiple recordings of this process. So after you've done that, you could go ahead and close out your window and open up your file folder that has all of your uh, downloads in it. The truffles, you can see that this is all zipped files. If we click on extract, extract, we can double click on the truffles this shows you what the PDF actually would look like the PDF always has a lot of useful information on it. it has the copyright date the designers the default print size but this is also the height that the des uh, design was originally intended so this one was eight and a quarter uh, you could print this off as uh, I sometimes find that useful in the studio um, I can rename this now. Getting rid of the inventory control number. Adding the height. And I can do the same for the IQ file. Backspace right between the truffles and the dot. I can hit my height. And now this is ready to copy and paste onto my USB stick. So that is all there is to it. Um, but I really always eliminate the inventory control number uh, just so it's easier to find my designs once I transfer them. And I also add the height whenever possible because um, it gives you a really great starting point when you're loading designs onto the computerized system uh, to know how big they were intended. Um, and if you want, uh, you could keep designs on your computer. You could uh, backload some of these onto an uh, external hard drive. But know that if you keep an account at Urban Elements, you could always re-download the designs uh, whenever you wish. They're yours uh, to re-download as, as long as you want. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I hope you found that useful. And we look forward to seeing you again next time.